Have you ever wanted to make Dragon's Dogma 2 great? Have you ever wanted to learn how to install DD2 mods so that you can actually enjoy the game? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we learn how to mod unlimited carry weight, one gold, affinity bars to see how many people love you or hate you, unlimited stamina outside of combat so you can walk around and run around like a maniac in the forest, in the wilds, unlimited fairy stones so that you can travel to your heart's content without burning your legs out or destroying all the ox gods in the land, I guess. Lock-on combat where you can actually toggle a lock-on to your enemies instead of swinging around like a freaking lunatic in the air. Welcome back to my channel. If you're unfamiliar with who I am, my name is Diana and I'm a gaming content creator on Twitch. I also am an extensive modder. This is a hobby, a passion, a joy, and a love. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to install Dragon's Dogma 2 mods. You're going to need three things to start out with. The first thing is going to be Fluffy Mod Manager. The second thing is going to be RE Framework. And the third optional thing is going to be Script Core. I will be showing you guys step-by-step step how to install everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is installing Fluffy Mod Manager. Now, mod managers are basically exactly what they say they are, a tool to manage your mods. So we're going to go ahead and install Fluffy Mod Manager. Once Fluffy Mod Manager is downloaded, it should look like this. You can go ahead and install this anywhere that you want. I would suggest extracting it to a new folder on whatever drive you prefer. Mine is on my secondary SSD. I usually like to install most of these things to my E drive. Once this has been successfully installed on your said drive, we're going to go ahead and open it up. These are the contents in which it should have, so we can go ahead and double click Mod Manager. As you can see, this is the manager that we will be using to manage <laughs> our Dragon's Dogma 2 mods. First step, down. Second step, RE Framework. So we're going to go ahead and download this. This is basically a framework that some mods require in order for the mods to work. We're going to go ahead and do manual download here. All we have to do to install this mod is directly drag it into the DD2EXE folder. This is basically going to be wherever you install your Dragon's Dogma game. I have a lot of Steam instances on this computer, so it gets a little bit weird for me. Steam apps, common, and we're going to find the game here, Dragon's Dogma 2. Alright, so as you can see, I already have dinput8.dll here, but if you are not me, you can just go ahead, drag this to Dragon's Dogma 2 folder. Now we have both Fluffy Mod Manager and RE Framework successfully installed. The next thing is going to be Script Core. So if you want to run mods like Lock On Combat, you're going to need this. So we're going to go ahead and install this. Manual download and download, slow download. We are now going to head right back to our Fluffy Mod Manager folder, and we're going to head on into games, Dragon's Dogma 2, and mods. Now we can directly drag script core into here. You don't have to unzip it or anything. Now we have the three essentials successfully installed. Fluffy Mod Manager, RE Framework, and script core. I will advise everybody to always read the installation instructions no matter what game you're modding. It is very important because modders that make the mods know best. And especially for Dragon's Dogma 2, there are at least three different ways to install each mod specifically, so just make sure that you follow the instructions properly. Let's say we want to install the Affinity Bar mod. What we're going to have to do is directly place the mod in Fluffy Mod Manager. Easy! So that means all that we have to do is manually download this. Once the Affinity Bar mod has been downloaded, it will be a zip file in your download folder. I would suggest making a folder, brand new one, on your desktop to house all of your DD2 extracted files, right? So essentially, you just want to go ahead, right click, extract all to a specific folder, because if they're in your downloads folder, they're not unzipped and they're not really going to work. 
All right, as you can see here, this folder is called DD2 Mods Unzipped. A lot of the mods that I'm using are in this folder, the ones that don't need to be installed in a different way. With that said, we're going to go ahead and take this affinity bar mod and drag it directly here into this mod manager. I love that you can do this. It's a really awesome feature. So once you drag it, it should show up here. Gray means that it is not in use. It is currently disabled. So you want to make sure that it is checked to the white right hand side because this means it is indeed enabled. So if we wanted to go ahead and install the lock on combat mod, that's going to be a little bit different. As we can see here, it says get RE framework and put in put A into DLL, done. Get Fluffy Mod Manager, done. Place the mod download in Fluffy Mod Manager mods folder, script core, already done. So again, this mod has a little bit of a different installation than the Affinity Bar mod. We are heading back to Fluffy Mod Manager for a DD2 folder, games, Dragon's Dogma 2, and mods. Also, download folder. You do not need to unzip this file. You can directly drag it from your downloads folder straight into Dragon's Dogma 2 mods. Once that's done, we can go ahead and return to Dragon's Dogma 2 mod manager where you can see the mods that we have installed. That's about it. There's nothing really more to be said pertaining to modding this game, just follow the installation instructions. Once you have the three required things, you should be good to go. And don't forget to launch your game through your Dragon's Dogma 2 mod manager, aka Fluffy mod manager. It is imperative that you launch through uh, this mod manager and not through your desktop or Steam any longer because some mods can get really weird and borked or like you'll have really bad performance issues and just weird lag. Uh, so definitely launch through the mod manager so that all the mods and your reshade are working seamlessly. That about concludes this tutorial on how to mod Dragon's Dogma 2. Hope that you guys enjoy, happy modding, and if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.